Whoever says Football Manager isn't realistic is nuts. We are basically mirroring what's happening with Swansea right now. The squad is threadbare. It's transfer deadline day. I need at least three players in. And I might even get sacked. God help us. <laughs> But before we jump into any transfers, let's see how the state of affairs lie currently. The board are not delighted, either are the supporters. We're a C, we're struggling for a few things. The wage budget is threadbare. I brought in one player, by the way, and Ollie Cooper's had a new contract, and that's taken us over by some distance, which may stop us buying players, we'll find out now. If you look at the form, this is where things have fallen apart. Now, the first game of the season against Rotherham, we did really well. Within 10 minutes, we went 1-0 up. Fulton clips it through with a lovely pass to Wally Cooper to make it 1-0. And then Fulton, who was man of the match for this game, finished with a goal himself in the 90th minute, picking it up from the centre of the park, and then follows the run all the way through. Lovely side foot to finish into the bottom corner. That put us like in the top three to start with. And after that, I was getting a bit excited. So Blackburn, I consider one of the good teams this season to do well. Rev Manaj put them 1-0 up within seven minutes. It's Started to panic a bit, and then Norton gave us a bit more hope. Sami had to whips the ball in, and Fulton, who's at a blinding start of the season, set up Perot. One all. Coming into the latter stages of the first half, Whitaker just busts through. Look at that for a goal. Getting a bit more confident. Kendall coming forward now on the right hand side, looking for options. Goes through to Perot, who makes it 3 1 with a lovely finish. 52 minutes. I'm getting excited now. But then they come back here. Or oh, is it us? Norton, oh, that was one of the worst mistakes ever. I remember that goal. They collided, and Ray Minaj, Nicky Minaj's brother, makes it 3 2. But then this terrible mistake at the back, Pirro makes it 4 2. And we win the game. And to be fair, that was the highlight of the season so far. Since then, after winning the Carabao Cup, luckily, like we're talking 11 penalties here. Look at that form. Oh my God, it's disgusting. Goal scoring has been an issue. In three of those games, we've failed to score. One of them, we've only scored once. There are some relatively decent teams such as Borough and Millwall are quite decent this season. But aside from that, we have been terrible. Even though it shows a 4-3-3 wide, this has been a different variation all the way through. Lots of tinkering, lots of changes. So we come to this stage where we're 16th in the league. Eight points from a potential 21 is tragic. We're just three points off the relegation zone. Look who's down there though, Sheffield United. That is a surprise. And we're transfer deadline day here. We need to do something to sort out this mess. The worrying things we have, okay? So if we take a look at the transfer budget in terms of what we could spend, there's not much money and the wage budget is gone. So the reality is we already need to do this. So if we're 14,000 down, that's 2,000. We can't even do that, can we? If I do that, we've got no money. We're still in the... Oh, we're not going to buy anybody, are we? Let's see if we can sell some of these clauses. That's not worth it. 200,000 for Joey Roden. He will probably sell for a bit more money down the line and I'll get more than 15% of what? 12 million, definitely. So safe to say, with 15 hours left, I've got a wheel and deal for players that will cost me nothing. No wage contribution, all in on loan. I, I'm not confident, I'll be honest with you. So the way we're doing it, transfer, doubtful, loan, doubtful, and quick search. This is a nice little tip for you. Come down to unhappy, and it will bring you every player who is currently unhappy at their club. And they're more likely to leave on deadline day for zilch, because the club want them off. It's the bad egg in the room. So Dale Fry is a centre-back. Very good. Five and a half thousand pounds. Can I pick him up on loan? Because a centre-back wouldn't be a bad thing. If we compare him to, let's say, Cabango, who's one of our better ones, I'm going to say Dale Fry is a lot better, isn't he? Jesus. So maybe, can we get him in on loan? Oh, they're reluctant. Well, I'm going to make an offer for zilch anyway and see what comes back. Next method, we're going for loan listed just to see who's actually actively available for loan search for value omari hutchinson is the top one from chelsea he would be good as a winger we are lacking we've only got ollie cooper technically out on that wing so maybe is he an improvement as a winger I, let's do this properly so for winger attack yeah technically he's better physically not better yeah he's not better we're not going to risk that one for omar right i put a few little loan offers out there all the ones that i think are the best with zero percent asen xiao is a very good midfielder i've used him a few times lots of players and teams in the championship after him after that so we've had this boy in on loan in the real world and he wasn't that good. He went back to West Ham, but I think he would do a much better job than Ollie Cooper. And the one I'm most excited about is Siku Mara, who is a 20-year-old South African player. Not South African, Southampton player. He's French. He's not South African. 
and I really like his stats. He's only 20. He's going to be a fantastic player in the future. Look at him. How good is he? So let's see if we get any luck with these. As well as incomings, I'm trying to get rid of two. Liam Cullen, Jamie Patterson. They're not going to play for me at the moment. They're not good enough. They're on decent wages. So I want to get rid of them. Not only just bring some money in, but to clear up that wage budget so I can actually get some of these loan players over the door because it's a struggle. Oh, balls. So Asensio has gone off to Sunderland alone, which I'll take. But in good news, Mara is coming to us. We need a striker to help Piro, because at the moment, up there in his own, he's our only opportunity to go. Max Aaron has gone for 33 million pounds. No, that's a rumor, but come on, that's a lot of money. We picked him up for zero. That is potentially one of the signings of the season right there. Look how good he is. And Orko Flex is coming in as well. Come on, we've got two very good attacking players there. I need a right back. That is the final piece of the puzzle, and I will be very happy after this day is done. Now, I've struggled to find anything, so we're going to go and ask my director of football to do me a solid. Right back, on loan, what have you got for me? Nothing. Free transfer, what have you got for me? Transfer, what have you got for me? Oh, nothing. Damn it. This is probably the best right back I can get, but he's injured, so I don't know if it's going to go through. We're going to try it, because he's class, to be fair. So we're going to make an offer. I think my board will veto it. They want no money, which is perfect. Let's get him in. And do you know one thing I spotted then? Whenever you try to get a loan player in at the moment, football manager, the club specify exactly what position they have to play. And the problem I've got is I can't amend it because they just keep saying no. So I'm screwed, really, for most of these signings I've got. Most of them fit the puzzle. They will be the perfect position. But he wants to be a complete wing back. That might have to be a tough conversation. Okay, it's been agreed. Um, Let's try and get it over the door are they going to veto it are you going to veto it six messages we've got him come on three players in on loan cost us zero pence the problem i've got now is registering everyone i don't know how many loans we've got we've got quite a few haven't we one two three four five six that's too many that's too many loans we're not going to be able to register them all okay we've got a problem 30 minutes left and i've had one of the best players this guy would suit us Perfectly. You know the number 10 position that Swans you just need desperately? This guy would be it. Kieran Dowell, very good technically. He's not the best physically, but I don't want him to move. I just want him to be that magic wand, spraying the ball about with his vision, his technique. But we can't afford him because we've got no bloody money. And it's all over. The door has slammed shut. And Sikumara is the top deadline day dealer. And I would agree with that. He's amazing the fact we got him for free. I just don't know. Do we need a tactic with him and Perot up top together? Comments down below, let me know. I think that would be quite special, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. Right, so all we're going to do now is try and register these players and then get this game against QPR. A right, squad registration. I think I can register them all. However, only five can play in the match day squad together. So even though all these lone players are in here, there's not a lot I can do on match day. Only five can come into the actual game. So... I don't know. Sorry, one of you. But that's everyone registered. Everybody who needs to be registered. All the others are under 21s. Mwah. Perfect. We are on board for QPR. Let's go and make a new tactic and get into that game. Okay, the tactic is in place. And this is going to be a loose version of the future one. I wanted to go for a bit more asymmetric. I want the two boys up top. Perot and Mara, I've, I'm quite excited about. I think they could be fantastic together. Sarmiento being creative out there. Whitaker in one wing. A Roman playmaker, I want to kind of move with the ball and come up the pitch. DM just slamming everybody. Centre backs who don't move. Complete wing back. Overlapping that inverted winger on the left. And a wing back supporting the winger on the left i don't know in terms of the positions who we're going to have soranola maybe could work out there we're going to work out the players exactly and then let's see how we get off against qpr who fyi are second in the league uh oh and that's the final team we're going with today perot's deep line forward mara alongside him sami into it wide that is dangerous cham whittaker fulton in the middle man in darling kabango soranola let's see how we do and this result was super super frustrating we actually played very well indeed but we went down really early within the first 40 seconds to a jamalo our ex buddy striker scoring against us and at the death we'd had three goals three goals disallowed at this stage and they sucker punched us right at the end. We should have at least drawn this game. Looking at the stats, we did well. We had more possession. We averaged them quite easily and even outgunned them on shots on target. But it wasn't to be the tactic. I don't know. It still needs tweaking. 
indeed. As a football manager, it just put you in a bad mood immediately. We should have won that game, hands down. Looking forward into September, there's a lot of games we can win, a lot of games we can get battered in. It's going to be a tough one. And in October, there's a big South Wales derby coming up. So we'll be back for that one. If you did enjoy the content, as always, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you soon. Take care.